is starting my video a little bit different. Um, I thought that I'd film a bit of a face-to-face -face share as my introduction for today's video and then I will flip the camera down to show you uh, my little haul of goodies. So I am, have been very, very lucky and received a box of goodies from scrapbook.com. Uh, most of these goodies are exclusives, which is why I want to share them with you today. Uh, but also, um, it was meant to be a part of a handmade um, holiday paper crafting parade, where essentially the parade is a bit of a hop uh, through Instagram where you get to be inspired by different creators using some scrapbook.com exclusives. Um, however, due to COVID times and everything like that, postage to Australia was a bit slower and my box of goodies arrived after the paper crafting parade had taken place. However, I really wanted to make a video to share these awesome goodies with you. Um, some of them I haven't myself uh, used a lot of the exclusive products um, but I'm looking forward to giving them a go and sharing them with you and sharing my thoughts with you as I create process videos. Um, but one of the goodies that I was sent because um, this was a handcrafted you had to use the idea was to use what was sent to you in the box of goodies so i was sent uh, one of the snap binders so this one is the six by eight black snap binder and it has um as you can see from the cover uh, craft dividers but then it has these gorgeous black and white prints and then obviously being a small mini albums uh, style we know that the albums also have the pocket pages um so my thoughts and the reason that i'm sharing obviously i'm sharing this haul with you so you can see it um but i'm also sharing with this with you because what i'm hoping to do with this album instead of making a december daily december memory style album which is typically what everyone is sharing and creating right now um i want to create a january memories uh the reason being that um in Australia here, we have our school holidays. They begin, they've begun now, hence me videoing, um, but they are from around just before Christmas to the end of January, typically. Um, obviously, as a teacher, I do things throughout January to prepare for the new year. Um, I did try and leave this school year a lot more organised um, than I have been in the past, just because I wanted to give myself and my family that chance to have that good break together. Um, and because of the year that we've had, thanks to um, the pandemic, you know, that's happening and still, you know, um, happening around the world quite tragically um, at the moment in some particular places. Um, but we are on school holidays. We are very fortunate and I'm very fortunate to live in Victoria. Um, our restrictions have eased for travel because of the hard lockdowns that we had in place really um, for the last, since, term, since March, we've been on and off um, some kind of restriction. At the moment, we are just wearing masks in, um, shopping centres uh, and outdoors and we don't need to wear them and you know we're being mindful still of the sanitising, the giving um, social distancing that sort of thing but it, we can travel basically is what I'm saying. So in January um, my family and I or we try and get away for a period of time together so that's what I'd want to document in this album, is I want to document, rather than December memories, I want to document our summer memories together, because being um, in the Southern Hemisphere where we have summer at the moment, so the weather, fingers crossed, uh, will be nice and kind to us, and we try and get, we get down somewhere coastal normally. So that's what I'm going to do with this album, uh, but I do want to share with you now the goodies that I was sent so that you get an idea for um, what 
I might use as part of this album as well as I will grab collections from my stash. Some of the things might be Christmas themed and that's fine because I will always have a use for those um, but I want to get in and share with you these amazing goodies. So I hope you've enjoyed this different intro. It's really nice just to connect um, in a different way with those of you who watch my channel and um, I will pop you face to uh, what do we call it, bird's eye, view down and share with you my goodies. Okie dokie. So um, first thing I'm going to share with you is the page protectors that I was sent. So I was sent two extra designs. Uh, this one here and these are scrapbook.com exclusives, which see, I need to go and look in the exclusive tab of the store because clearly I am not aware of the things that they have because I didn't know they had these. So this is just the two four by six pockets. Um, there's 10 in there. And then this one is um, the four by six pocket, then the two three by four portrait style. So that is awesome. And that's great to have those extra pockets. Um, I also have this packet of um, premium foam adhesive sheets. So these are obviously to use for dimension. Um, they have the adhesive um, on both sides, which is great. Uh, these are around, what size does it say? Four, four and a quarter and five and a half inches in size. So you know how much I love my foam adhesive. These will get used uh, just in the regular, which is great. Um, it also came, and I hope my focus is staying, um, with a little thing of some smart craft glue. It's like a sample bottle sort of size. Um, and I know that my fine line bottle recently broke. I had a smaller bottle which has also recently broke. So <laughs> I do need to invest in some. So I'm definitely going to check this out and sample this. Um, it did come with a little gift guide as well. So this gift guide has um, some ideas for 12 days of Christmas and things that you can use. So the blush memory decks, I've seen that heaps being shared by scrapbook.com. Um, also the magic mat is a new product and being um, an ambassador in the past for Sizzix and also part of their UK design team, I am really interested in trying out that magic mat. I think that'll be great. Um, you know how when you have your cutting pads, essentially I think it works as like a cutting pad and then your cutting pads become warped. Um, they get the cut marks in them and that sort of thing. I think this is to minimize that. So I would love to see what they're like. Um, yeah, so it has that in there, which was really great to have a little flick through and I will have a proper look. Uh, it has an acrylic block and you'll find out in a moment the reason why there's an acrylic block in here because there's quite a few um, stamp goodies. Um, I have some highly Swap chalk inks. So these colours are, there's a green, a couple of greens and a pink in there. And then my favourite ink, which couldn't have come at better time because I did test mine the other day and it's very dry, um, is just the Jet Black Archival ink. I love that ink. I love it for stamping the date on things. There is a craft scraper. Now, I'm actually thinking this will be perfect to use um, with my Cricut machine. So I'm going to put that with that for that reason, for adhering with vinyl. Um, I've just realized there's more pocket pages. So this is just the whole six by eight size in a 10 pack. Oh, that's so awesome. And um, one with a three by six, three by eight, three by eight, yes. And two, three by four pockets. They are so cool. Then what else can I share with you? There is a stencil here. It's a dotted stencil. It's six by eight in size. So that would actually be perfect 
you know, for creating pages to go inside the album. And I have some adhesive here. These are sticky squares. So instead of the dots that we normally get, um, there's a hundred of them. They're a small sticky square. They've actually got a bit of um, dimension on them. So they're not the flat sticky dots that you might get. So they'll be good to test out. And then I have some stamp sets to share with you as well as some dies. So this is Christmas themed, like I said, uh, as part of that intro, some of these things are Christmas themed. So this is a scrapbook.com um, exclusive. This is called Word Fetty Holly Jolly. And some of these, you won't need to be specific as in on this day. <laughs> That could be for anything, um, but most of them are very Christmas themed. Elf, Santa's Helper, Merry Christmas, and so on. So there's those. Uh, these ones, bit of both again. These are Word Fetty, This is Christmas, but there are some things like Thankful, Love, Memories, Today, Favourite, that could be used on this day again for uh, other reasons, other pages, themes. And these are, let me just grab my ruler. These are four by six. Yep, yeah, four by six in size, these stamp sets that I'm showing you. And there's one more of this smaller size. And this is just another typewritten font, Word Fetty December, and just some random either phrases or words. So memory, holiday baking, Christmas party, secret Santa, Good, good broad Christmas range, really, on the nice list, on the naughty list. So that's those. So that stamping block will come in handy. This set I love. So this is um, Subway lowercase, but what I like is that you've got that heavy font and then I'm imagining that you might use a light colour with these and then stamp a contrasting dark like your black and stamp them on top to create that shadow effect. That's what I'm thinking. Um, and these are larger in size. So these uh, look like a six by eight sheet. Yep. So there's those. Um, there are a couple of dies as well. Look what I've just found sneaking. A four by six page protectors in a five pack. And there's dies. So these ones are family dies. So we've got memories, beautiful, and family. And this one is inspire. I'm trying to read them. Sweet, love, and life. So that's those. I love this scripty font um, word dies. They make a really nice title. And you can also team them with things that I'm like what I'm about to show you, but also with your stamps. And then we have a sticker book. So this is a charcoal blush and rose gold sticker book. So that charcoal is this that you can see here, the darker background. Uh, very, these definitely aren't Christmas themed. These are sort of everyday themed, but I will pull them out to show you a good look at um, the rest of the pages. So we've got the tiny word stickers. Oh, pretty labels. Labels will be perfect for the album. We've got some black alphas or some pretty rose gold alphas, some soft pink alphas in uppercase and lowercase, and then some black in uppercase and lowercase. How handy is that? They are awesome. So I want to say a big, big thank you to scrapbook.com for inviting me to be a part of the paper crafting parade. How, even though I didn't actually get to take part in it, um, I do want to create something with all these amazing goodies. So stay tuned to my Instagram and um, possibly my YouTube channel as well for seeing me sharing some of these 
things that I create with this and I will be back soon with some process videos. Bye everyone! Thank you.